but you can just go to your, your county courthouse or whatever and uh, you fill out the paperwork beforehand. I think it's like $90, something like that. And then, because nigga, if I would've got caught at the airport with it, they would've let me go. Even though I was in the airport with it, I had to conceal carry like they would've just been like, all right, go put your gun somewhere. What you need? Which one? You want this or some of this wax? Yeah. Grab that one. Who shit? Right here, Bo. What's up, big dog? Sometimes. What's been happening? Chill. Leg tax. Yeah. Look. Cool. Heard that, man. What fly go? Water or something? Like you got some. I'm good, bro. Good. Welcome to the trap. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see you been locked in with my nigga Jake. Why ain't Jake? Yeah. That nigga funny as hell, man. He's hilarious. Hell yeah. You gotta get him on there. You don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that, boy. Ain't nobody said nothing, you ain't heard nothing, you don't know nothing. Yo, you made these beats? This shit's hard. Hell yeah, I need these. This one and that last one. Every day. For real? That's all I do. Baby, did you ever think it'd be this big? I mean, nah, but I hope. I wasn't positive, but I hoped it would be this big. This shit probably even bigger than that. Yeah, all I can do is hope and pray. Put in the work. That you do. That shit gone. Right. We gonna jump this shit off. Get this shit in. Ooh, chips. Yeah. Yeah. They open? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking chips. <laughs> I would Fuck say DC, but. Fly these your chips. That nigga would have ate them. You keeping that? Nah, you can talk that. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't really have to hold the last show. The last show. <laughs> Felt like it was getting real tense. So I felt like an asshole. Asshole. <laughs> then Lil' took it away. About? I'm like, yeah, he saved the day. Cause I didn't. Getting hot on the last show. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that? Hey. 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 I already got like three, four stoles to go put in the mall for him. I'm just ready to get these bitches on the road. <clears throat> Turn it up, Dean. You got to, man. Some good smashers? Yeah, you know what? I got them vegan shits, too. You got them vegan shit, man. I'm gonna fuck with these vegetables, man. Nigga, I ain't no, I ain't no regular ones had meat in it. Yeah, this is good shit. <laughs> they got 
got meat in it. This shit got meat in it. Oh. Hey. They got vegan blood. Now this what, right what here, the red this red right. some gas. What is it? I don't want no. I don't want no shit gonna have me fucked up. This some purple layer. Purple air. Yes, Larry Cushion. This mm-hmm. shit, I just had grinding before I left, but this shit fine. I ain't had no Larry Cushion. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Damn. I can't unravel this bitch. I gotta break it down. Yeah, it ain't the Yeah, that ain't no, that ain't no, uh, ain't that the ain't Dutch one of them. I missed the vanilla Dutch. Man, this shit just fair. Y'all, you, you still don't smoke yet? Life ain't hit you hard yet. How do you, bro? He got too many W's. 23. <laughs> he got 23 now? Yeah, 24 in August. You bullshit. That shit done flew by, nigga. You done fucked around and got grown, nigga. You ain't the young nigga no more. Man, when we shot, when we shot high, high, too, nigga? 22. You were 22? Yeah. That was that long. Yeah. That wasn't even that long ago. That was, I felt like yeah, I was 27. Yeah, that was two years ago. You made me feel old as hell, nigga. My boy out here getting money, and he ain't even grown yet. <laughs> Say what? My boy out here getting money, and he ain't even grown yet. <laughs> Cause when you get old, your balls gonna be sagging to the floor. <laughs> My boy ain't getting all his money, and he ain't even grown yet. That's facts, though. Two things that have never stopped growing. Facts. Your balls in your ears. <laughs> For real. Okay. Google it. Your ears still grow? Yeah. That's why I don't That's why it. I feel like every week, like, it's hard to get these goddamn masks over my ears. <laughs> I'm like, damn, why does it feel like I'm weekly. putting like, I don't know if like it's I'm double looping this motherfucker and shit. Like, why does this one stay on my ear? <laughs> and it feel tight. Like my mask keep growing <laughs> on my face. <laughs> for real. Yeah, man, for real. You gotta make sure you, you keep some elasticity in your nutsack. Fuck around and get to sitting on your balls is over. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's why you see old niggas and they sit down and they be like, hey man. <laughs> Nigga gotta swing his balls in first. What? <laughs> nigga, you gotta, nigga gotta set, you gotta set them balls down. <laughs> and young niggas, they pop. <laughs> old niggas be looking at you. Nigga, you sit down like that. I'm telling you, you fuck around and sit on that old sack, you be done passed out for about four, five seconds. This bitch gonna bump. Ooh. You motherfuckers send a sharp pain to your cerebral cortex. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I scared myself. I thought my nuts was twisted. No. It didn't, yeah, I was like, hold on, this ain't. Little balls on the right side. <laughs> I have not, uh, I have not bought in. pants because <laughs> of shit like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least y'all ain't gotta grow up with old people, cause boy, I don't know what it is about old people. They like to be naked at their house. What? You hear me? What, my daddy? Hell no. Woo. Don't say it. Sit up. I'm talking about sit. On, he would sit in his recliner. And you know, old people wear white drawers. <laughs> they let you know, hey, yeah, they don't tell us what's in these drawers. You hear me? Yes, sir. He let them bitches hang. That's, I know you ain't lying, because my granddaddy used to open the door and just draw. And you know, the worst part about that is them drawers did never fit my granddaddy. <laughs> I think my granddaddy lived his whole life and never had a pair of drawers that fit him. My granddaddy wore the biggest drawers. <laughs> They was you. He holding the bitches up. What you want? They was you. What you need? <laughs> he had your grandma put a him in his drawer. <laughs> uh, that is hilarious, <laughs> man. Fucking stupid. These drawers was big and stretched out. Looked like they supposed to go over something. It's like he supposed to had a diaper on, then put them drawers on. Those were overdraws. <laughs> overdraws. And they were saggy and long in, in every corner. Yeah. That's terrible. That's what oh, motivated wow. me to work so hard. Is that I know you was gonna get you some drawers. That I'm probably one first gen- have have I'm probably first generation of, of fitting drawers in my face. Cause I know we passed that shit down to my daddy. Cause he, he never knew what size drawers he truly wore. So I ain't gonna tell somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. <laughs> Just shit you have to deal with. Is it that time? That's hilarious. Is it time? Hold on. Think it's time? That was time. It ain't, is it time though? Let me hit with some, some pieces of blood, get on your lips. <laughs> we try to roll the blood all smooth and sexy. But you can't because you got a blood on your lips. <laughs> you know, it's so fitting that we all rolling and smoking blunts right here. Oh, that's yes, it is, yeah, man. 
Cause you know, we was all in how high. You know? We definitely won, gang. Violet. Yeah. How high too? For real. Yeah. Yeah. My boy. Yeah. yeah. And we broke numbers. Yeah. yeah. And fired I fired him. this nigga. Yeah, I fired him. Fired. I had to let him go. Why you let him go? Cause man, he had them hoes in there, around the money and shit. <laughs> You know how them white folks is. He ain't, they ain't gonna say shit to him, is that though? Mm -hmm. That shit fall back on me. Mm -hmm. I'm the manager. Reflect poorly on me. Plus, I had been telling him. He wasn't a good employee anyway. I'm glad you found him, because he bossed up on him. He you got the Bentley on you, drop top ain't that. Mm -hmm. And not only did he have the drop top, the nigga went in space. Exactly. Came I just, off the screen. Just didn't understand why he was still delivering food in the Bentley. He just had to stun <laughs> on you one time. I felt real, it was personal. Mm -hmm. That's real person. Hey man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. 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 It's a black show, so I can do that. I can say welcome back before I actually say welcome. They get it. Oh, you can say welcome black. Oh! Welcome black to the 85 South Show. But wait a minute, no. What about the minorities? We got a lot of minorities that watch this. How would you, how would you say that? Welcome black to the 85 South Show. Hey. Welcome black. <laughs> Just come in here and be still and be quiet. Yeah. yeah, you good. But we got one of our real player partners in here with us today, man. Yes, sir. You know, yeah. A real A-Town nigga. Well, nigga this really come been, on, man. He really been doing his thing, though. You dig what I'm saying? He really been doing Underrated. his thing. Underrated. And has become one of the biggest rappers in the fucking world. Talk your shit, game about And not only that, can hold it on weight amongst other stars that's on the... The major label. Hey man, he took the world by surprise and did it on his own terms. No, he, ain't, he ain't let up. I think he called himself a boat before he even had one. Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. This nigga got, you might know him as Lil Yachty. Mm hmm. Come on. But you might know him as Lil Boat. Mm hmm. Come on. The nigga cold like Minnesota. You did what I'm saying. On. You feel me? Yeah. The nigga, he done bossed up on us again. The nigga got his own motherfucking. Nail polish coming now. You got your own nail polish Damn. coming now? Unisex. That means anybody can wear it. That boy crazy. Hey, man, without further ado. Go for it. Fucking little Yachty's in. Oh! 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 What's up, G? Talk Welcome to the track. Come on, man. I'm just trying to catch up. I don't know when y'all like recording or not. Y'all is. We've like, been recording. Hey, your out. team got diamonds in it. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> With the lady at the, at the meeting grease, like, God damn. God damn. <laughs> that nigga get his drink hot. Yeah, give it hot. I already got cubes in my mouth. <laughs> What's been up, Bo? <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Can I get some sunglasses, please? I'm this nigga man. crazy. I'm just trying to work. Work while I'm young so I can play when I'm old. You ain't working your ass, though. So you doing it. Man. You nah. busting your shit, man. You did, not only that, you getting in movies and producing them early. Oh, 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 oh. What's up? Producer oh, title. The so agreement. We, you want to jump into the into the ownership first, then. You did. So I know you you've been in the industry for a minute now. You hear everybody say, you know, own your shit, own your shit. Now, yeah. like, how does that how does that hit you as you know one of the new generation performers and shit? I ain't got your business together. What are we talking about, like, master? Like, all that shit. All your career. Just being a young boss. Well, it's important, you know, first to know what you're getting into. You know, a lot of young artists, you know, are so eager to, you know, you know, maybe change their life or experience something that they just quick and jump into situations that they don't really know what they're getting themselves into and end up fucked up, you know, down the line when st stuff start popping off or when they finally got somebody who can open their eyes to whatever it is. They, they can't do shit, because yeah. they sign they to rich yeah. nigga records. <laughs> we own all that shit. Yeah. That shit you even thought about doing. Yeah. <laughs> Your green, I own that. Nigga, I own your name. <laughs> that idea? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keep thinking. Yeah. And while I get paid. Every time that nigga likes some blunt, I get $3. <laughs> How many dollars Charge you get? that nigga smoking. <laughs> How many dollars you get? Three. <laughs> Why that for? That's what we agreed on. <laughs> I, I'm not a greedy man. I'm not greedy. That's I just want what I agreed to, baby. <laughs> I'm not greedy. Now you signed to me for $6,500. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me now. 
<laughs> I want my music. I want my shit. <laughs> Three dollars, man. We ain't talking that shit, man. <laughs> That's funny as hell. Hey, man. Five hundred. Hey, hey, buddy. I we got we got paperwork. <laughs> I want my music. You want me to read a contract? I want my shit. (laughs) Hey, hey, you better not cut your hair. (laughs) (laughs) We own that hairstyle too, baby. (laughs) (laughs) That is funny, bro. I want my music. I want my shit. You don't want my shit. (laughs) That is crazy. You have five percent of the (laughs) phone. Sixty-five hundred dollars up front. That's crazy. Bro, this nigga is the best, bro. Oh, he's really signing for stuff. Yeah, like, for real, man. A lot of these deals is fucked up. Yeah. But you know how it is. There's a lot of people out here just moving our desperation, too. You know, that shit don't... That shit be sounding like a lot when you ain't got shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, un- it's unfortunate, but it's just... It's life. I want to tell you, my, my first deal I never signed. My first deal was 2500 and I needed the nigga to pay the rest of my lawyer fee. How much was the lawyer fee? Oh no, I just gave it to him. I think it was probably like 30 cents, but I was so fucked up. I was like, look, I ain't got time to keep fighting these niggas. Please just pay these lawyer fees off of me. You shouldn't have never mentioned that. That nigga gonna watch this episode and be like, speaking of which. Oh, <laughs> it says in perpetuity. <laughs> a nigga that breached that contract a thousand times. <laughs> nigga, I, I, had, I got out my contract and the, and the judge was like, I could have went back and got my money back. But I was, was like, you under I was, age? I was straight. Was you on there? No, I'm grown. I knew what I signed. But you know, the breach in the contract, they was already being breached. I was just wasn't knowledgeable enough Boy. to know that I been was out my contract long That's time crazy. ago. You see, you, you was blessed though, right? Your pops in the music business? No, my dad's a photographer. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. But I mean, he shot a lot of celebrities. Yeah. City, <laughs> but he ain't know nothing about music. I mean, about the music business. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just blessed with my, you know, my mom is real business savvy, and yeah, so know. she was she was real heavy. Um, when once I got on, she quit, and then you know came on as on my management team as my business manager. And she just I was thankful to have someone who truly cared about me, look okay. over everything, yeah. all my Make business. Sure what was that moment for you when it's like I'm here, I have arrived. Now I'm in the music business. What you mean? Like when it hit, you knew yeah. like oh shit, that really no changed, more. right? Uh, probably like when I my first when I first uh 2016 when I first signed my contract I got this penthouse at the Atlantic, Shit. right in the city. In the penthouse I had the corner suite, and um so you got whole west of Georgia on this side and then like east of Georgia I think. You know what I'm saying? Oh I don't know. So I had, I could see Stone Mountain, and I could see all the way in Kennesaw, and my neighbor was Julio Jones and Young Dolph, and I was. 18 years old. And I think one night I was just taking a shower because my shower had these top, my, my bathroom had this like ceiling and floor like windows. Uh-huh. And I was taking a shower, I, I had the lights off. And I was just looking out the window and I just saw the whole city. And it was just like, I was like, damn. Like, You're blessed, young nigga. I'm here. You're you know blessed. Yeah, right. so, oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a moment when I was just like, damn, I really made it. You That's know? that shit you can't put no price tag on. That you know and Christmas, my first Christmas as a celebrity, I, because my mother spent her whole life getting me gifts, me and my sister, I, I never had no money to get her nothing. So first Christmas, I went crazy, like spent like quarter, right. all on her, you know what I'm saying? Everything was her, and that was like her first time getting gifts and shit. Quarter million? She felt so special. <laughs> <laughs> and that was crazy, that was crazy. Man. It was crazy. Uh, and man, just I to see her smile. On my mama. <laughs> I, 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 I spent a QP. <laughs> you close? I, 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 I bought my mama a crib and we closed up. Yeah. And we, yeah. we, we, I was in the camera. So. Never not for real. So. That's what it's all about, man. Nah, 100%. It's being able to change the whole, you know, projection of where your family Ooh. name going. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, but it felt good, though. It yeah, felt yeah, good. Like yeah. you said, you was never able to do that. Exactly. And it's not that you didn't want to do it. Of course not. Of course not. I was just so in school. obligated. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, no, she she kind of took care of you. Not well, saying like you, you knew, like, I wanted to do this. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd probably say I was probably feel a little obligated just because I gave her hell. That's, like, what I'm, that's what I mean. As a young nigga in, right. in school and outside, I gave her hell, you know, and she, right. I, I worried her. Like I just was, I just was like, I ain't like school. Like I wasn't like skipping nothing, but I just 
you know, nigga in school, jokes, laughing, always getting in trouble type shit, man. And she she always stressed, like, my mom's real, like, professional, so she wanted me to go to college super bad. So towards the end of senior year, I wasn't really forward, and it was stressing her out. And she, she was going through it, so I, I felt good to be able to, you know, repay her for Did you uh, finish? Huh? Did you finish? I didn't finish. I dropped out and started my career. I want to finish. Mm. Yeah, I want to. I want to get a psychology degree. Go back. Yeah. Go back. Man, you so, rich now. Just, just tell them. Do a show and tell them to give you an honorary degree. Yeah. <laughs> I want. I want. I want. You want to do the work? Yeah. Go well, to work. I, I want to. I just want to. I do want to learn like the ways of psychology. You know. Of course, the base classes, base course is gonna suck. You know, but psychology is actually very interesting. Yeah. Right? Extremely. Yeah. But 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 your journey in the music though, because when you hit, you wasn't doing music that long. Nah, I, was probably like, six like, months? yeah, I would say, I mean, I dropped out of Alabama State, and I, I think uh, September, and I, I, I signed my deal by, I put my first mixtape out in March, and then I signed a deal by, like, April, a million-dollar deal, so I was probably, like, six months in. Damn, so how did that buzz take off, like, you just went from dropping out, so you did graduate from high school? Oh, yeah, I graduated. Oh, okay. Well, you yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I went to college and I okay, dropped okay. out of college. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You good then? You got, yeah. you got, you got a problem. You ain't even gonna scratch you now, no, but you yeah. got a diploma. You ain't yeah. no dumbass. No, no, for sure. For sure. All right, no, man. No, I, got, I got my degree. Man, so you saying when you drop out of Alabama State, you just said, fuck it. What, I, I when, said, when, when see, the thing was, I think I went to school a, a little bit early, so I was younger than everybody in my class. So I, I told myself, like, I really want to try my my dream, see if I can achieve my goals. And I know I'm younger than everybody, so how about I take a year off? That way, if it don't work, I come back, I still be the same age as everybody in, in my class. Right. Because I was, like, literally probably the youngest person in my class. I was 17 in college. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you couldn't even buy a switch. Yeah, you no, I, was, even I was 17 in my freshman year, so everybody else was 18. Some were 19, so I was like, if I take a year off, I can come back, and if I'm still in, I'd be, still be the same age as everybody. And it didn't take a year. It took six months. You fucked them up. Nigga, smart as hell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You was either smarter, you started school when I too see, soon. When I started, I started school just a little early. Um, yeah. And my mom always told me, she always stressed, like, you know, if you want to do something, have a plan. You know, and I, towards the end of summer, at the end of senior year, I started just planning my life. Because, like, and I couldn't see it going any way, but, like, that way. This way. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which, of course, back then, the chances were extremely slim. You know, it's a lot easier now to, um, you know, the platforms have opened up so much for the internet, you know, as far as, like, music and getting on and viralness. But back 2016, it wasn't that simple, you know? Right, like, right, 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 right. Especially the sound and wave that we started that is now a thing, this colorful hair, this, all this shit that we do, like, right. that we did, wasn't, like, the thing, you know? And I took a lot of beatings for it, you know? A lot of That's people hated me. That's what I was gonna me, get to next, man. You handle criticism better than a whole lot of rappers, man. Well, you know what it is? I think early on in my career, because it used to affect me hard, and, like, it used to really, like, hit me until I started realizing, like, you know, it doesn't change anything. Like, like my business is still what it is. Like, right. I'm still getting checks. I'm, my whole family's still good, you know? Like, it'd be a different situation if, like, you know, people was hating and criticizing me and I was fucked up, you know? But, I, but I'm too blessed to even, like, let negativity hurt me. Like, I, I start to understand, like, you know, you can't... Ain't no way that you could just live this king life and not and then not come with, you know, the negatives. You got to take right. the good with the bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I, and my good, my good always outweighs... And, you know, the bad, you know, because I could be, I remember life, you know, just six years ago. So, and it could always be worse. Right. And you should make old niggas mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was, that was. And, that was. and the crazy, you know what it is? I, not too long ago, someone said to me, like, have you ever had a hater that was doing better than you? Really? No, never. Like, ain't nobody ever hate on me who was doing better than me. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's just some real that's shit. Facts. Like, think about, you ever had an, a hater who was doing better than you? But the one who do it better than you can't allow you to know that he a hater. Because he gonna look like a hater. He See, I it. never had that, though. Only people that hate on me is people who just probably hide behind a computer or some old rap nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I right. said, I feel so. You just be hating because you're doing good, you know? Because I don't bother anyone. You definitely don't. Ever. You know what I'm saying? People just feel the need to voice their opinion. For what reason? I don't know, but it doesn't bother me. I don't care because life okay. is what it is. Well, that's what's the because you definitely did what the fuck you were supposed to do. Now, like you said, you had a plan and you didn't see your plan going no other way. Now, you coming out of Alabama State, it's every nigga dream. Because I remember when I dropped out of Fort Valley yeah. and I made a song and I said, I'm, I'm finna go to music. Right. Fuck that. Right. 
had a little buzz, we finna go crazy. But you knew for a fact, when you make this motherfucking tape, this is gonna be the one. And I did not, I did not know that. Yeah, no, I didn't know that. I, I, I knew, like I had this, my plan was to build my name and likeliness on social media before releasing music. You know, Let so me like, ask you this do, before you get into it. What happened in that time frame before you got to that? In that six months when you were recording that, you know, after dropping out, right. what happened in your life that got you to that point to make that tape? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck you just gonna show me outside of your ear? What the fuck is this, boy? This nigga got a no, sailboat. No, this nigga got a, he got a whole <laughs> sailboat with the dock on it. You hear me? This motherfucker get it all set. What you say? This nigga is gonna keep revealing more jewelry. Yeah, he gonna be like, oh yeah, and then this. He gonna have a shoulder bracelet. <laughs> a shoulder bracelet? Basically, what happened leading up to the tape that you released? That, like, after, like, after I graduated college, or left after college? Left college. Uh, I went back, to, I came back to Atlanta, um, and I was sleeping on um, my friend's couch. You know what I'm saying? But I was sleeping one day and I saw a cockroach. I said, oh, fuck no. And I went back to my mama's house. <laughs> a rope scared you, bro. He was on Hollywood Road. He was on Hollywood Road. A so rope scared you, bro. Yeah, that, that was a different road. It was, it was a road that wasn't scared, right? On Bankhead. Yeah, it was on Hollywood yeah, Road. The road was different. <laughs> the road was different over there. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't. I went back to my mama's house. And then I was just... So I start, what I started doing was going to these parties. Like, all these parties and events for all these people who had this following. And like it was these and these photographers and just where all the cool people was. I was going, I was just really just hanging out, talking to people, vibing, and just started building my name in the city, like in the scene, the underground scene. Then I started releasing the music. You know what I'm saying? Then well, my dad worked for Delta, so I had a buddy pass. So I was using that to my advantage. I would always go to LA, uh, try and hang out with folks and and get in the mix. I was really just trying to stay in the mix, you know, and then when I finally had a little bit of buzz, got I started mix. dropping We always shit. talk about that, but yeah. that mix. It's important. And you got, hey, what's some of the clubs you was hitting, like? Not no, not no clubs. It was it was more like, like real shit. house parties and, like, because the scene that I grew up in, it was like, I don't know how to explain it. It was like underground parties and, and, and cribs and shit, but it, or a rooftop party or some shit like that, but it wasn't like no clubs because I was always underage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. In that mix, man. Now, some poor, you got to be in that mix, man. I, I, it's it's really in the conversation you do. You yeah. Gotta, like, yeah. It's, it's easy. It's real easy to stay in the loop if you're in the mix. You know what I'm saying? But it's also easy to, you know, fucking sink if you're in the mix. Because if you're in that bitch too much for the wrong reason, then... Yeah. Get your ass mixed you get up. Lost in the sauce. Yeah. Yeah. And you just get labeled. Get lost in the sauce. You don't want to get labeled. Get your ass gone in the gravy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know who you is, yeah. You seasoning. <laughs> right. We use this nigga for seasoning. <laughs> you seasoning. So let's jump shit, right? To acting game. That was cold, because his name Lil Boat Jump Ship. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nigga. See, you ain't even know the metaphor with them, but it them. Nigga, this your bad. Yeah. Um, I, 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 am I in it? God damn. <laughs> OK, OK. Give me the jump ship. Give me the jump ship. Here we go. Now, check this out, right? Now, right away. Y'all with me? Go ahead. Ooh. Come on, one more. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Let me think of it. We, oh, we, 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 we on that. We on that. We on that. We on that. I, like, I see what I, I see what you said. Let's go. Hey, man, say no let's more. Go. So tell this out. Trying metaphors today. We. <laughs> hey man, hold on. Are God on damn it, you a silent killer. <laughs> you was a silent killer. <laughs> nigga on the starboard side. Hey you man, let's get back to business. Let's ride this way. All right, let's go. Let's go. So so check this out, right? Now, how how to? Even though it was a lot of, you know, like you said, the negativity that right. we was facing, we never brought that to the scene. And I always want to say, too, because a lot of people ask me, hey, but how was it working with Lil Yachty for How How To? I'm going to say this to your face. Like I tell everybody else, I say, you know what? He came to play. You feel me? Our characters were different. He made sure he did him so well that all I had to do was just do me. Like, I didn't never, and now they on set, I never felt like, I was in it by myself or I was trying to do anything. I felt like, boy, I see Yachty. Let go to work, shout. Yeah. And every time we went on set, man, it was just like, it was magic. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. I had to let you know, but I appreciate well. that. You dig what I'm no, saying? Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. No, I he actually did his thing. Like, when he was acting, 
It was his character. I never seen Lil Yada. I'm like, this nigga is. He's, he's killing this shit. I had a good time. That was fun. That shit was lit. And, I, and we also broke Rucker. Yeah, we did. MTV Saturday, most high views. Right. You dig what I'm saying? Right. How had to. That's a fact. Motherfucker played. Lowe's using that motherfucker too? Yeah, man, we had a couple scenes. Bro, they beat down. Yeah, man. Me and Lil Boat had to fire him. <laughs> he brought the hoes to the Zestos and shit. <laughs> Got hanged, lost the cheap. Lost I was the wondering why they had Zestos in that bitch. I was like, they really made that shit. Zestos no good here. Do, do y'all be paying, like, you in the science and shit like that? I mean, I'm, I'm, I know science, it, it makes sense. So have you ever heard of, um, you ever heard anybody talk about, like, saying like that, we live in a simulation? Yeah. That's some, like, Matrix type shit? Well, not necessarily, but, like, like almost as if, like, the world we lived in was, was being controlled by somebody else. Because you know, when you think about this universe and this galaxy, it's like Earth is so small compared to mm -hmm. other planets and other galaxies and then other, the Milky Way and all that, all that other stuff. I'm talking about we like a. So we like a creative freckle, character. Like a, well, you know, it's just conversations people have sometimes saying like, you know, wonders if we are simulated. You know, just like how we play Grand Theft Auto, or are we a game right now? Bro, if I wouldn't you call think it a game. I call it simulation. We really just smart ass germs, anyway. We just evolved into this. Well, could, it could have been an ant or a fucking bacteria. Yeah. Wait, huh? Who's to say that we wasn't already? It could have been a roach, because that's life, too. Bro, what if this shit is not even fucking happening roach. right now? This could all just be a thought that somebody else is having. That's right now. Simulation. Like, we're living in somebody's that's mind right now. We could be a brain in a jar on a shelf in the basement. That's what? going crazy. That's bubbling it. And no, what's going no. on? What if a drug we addict is just making all this shit up? You need electricity. Yeah. That shit need to be plugged because yeah. you know some of us need and light. That, and then it's the other shit that's making that's what us these alive. lamps are for. Your spirit, your soul. Experiment. Everybody lose a little bit of weight when they die. You think that's this your is soul leaving your body? What? Bring that back. Bring that. Yeah. Bring that back. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and 85 South Show listeners get 10 percent off their first month at BetterHelp.com/slash 85 South. Hey, Clayton English. Is there something that's interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. The service is available for clients worldwide and you can start communicating in under 48 hours. You get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like with traditional therapy. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Visit betterhelp.com slash 85 South. That's better H-E-L-P and join the over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. It's like it's like point you know, seven grand or some shit. It's a certain amount that everybody lose when they die, dog. Like the shit that's holding you here, it's not just your body. You right. know what I'm saying? So like your spirit leave your body, you lighter than no, with your spirit. No, if you ever held a dead body, that motherfucker heavy. Yeah, because it's dead weight. But what I'm saying is, it's losing like. Like that motherfucker died and got heavy. We didn't leave that motherfucker, man. <laughs> I see why a lot of these niggas get fouled on the road, man. <laughs> Dead weight. Nigga like a thousand pounds, man. Uh, you don't think it's a simulation? Nah, I, nah I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. Can't even beat that nigga? Nah, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's hard to tell, you know. I really start, I, when I start questioning what's going on in the world, it get a little difficult, you know what I'm saying? I believe in energies. And For I believe sure. in, what do you call it, on, on a spiritual level, when you know people ain't right. You feel what I'm saying? The older you get, you realize you like, Everybody ain't normal. Yeah. I'ma just say that right now. That's a fact. Everybody ain't fucking normal, but we all live around like, hi, hi. When really you be like, oh, I just wanna leave here. You like no fuck around with him. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like a lot of people be fighting with shit, and it's on you to figure out how strong can you be to just fight whatever you're fighting and accept other people as they're battling. Yeah. Because everyone you meet. Someone is battling something. I'm not saying it's just so deep. They just battling something. You feel me? Right, and but who that go you back to what he's saying, though. 
you gotta keep in mind everybody battling something because we all reacting to right. a set of circumstances and a certain set of choices, like a set of choices that we life. live it ourselves with. Exactly. But everybody's not seeing this. We are, we're all not in the same place at the same time. Right. So even everybody when you come in contact else. with people, yeah. you don't know how much of this simulation of life that they have been so enticed let me, by. So let me ask y'all a different question. Counter. Right, right, right. And which, so mm -hmm. we all just responding to shit that's happened to us personally and individually. That's what that shapes our opinions and thoughts and shit like that. Right. So it comes down to what you believe. Right. Because what you, you stand think, on, too. What, what you believe you and what you what have experienced. Because, hey, man. Because you base your beliefs off shit that you've experienced. Right. Yeah. But what keeps you motivated and level-headed is what I can say. Yo, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Oh, we done. We're yeah. in the simulation. I don't know. Y'all not making no sense. We're in the right. simulation. You got to stick with us. We're in the no, simulation. We're just saying. <laughs> Take your answer. You said we it's here. a simulation, right? But the, the simulation is people responding to Whatever these they, other whatever. people that we don't know have seen. No, but that's they, not what I meant, though. What you mean? I'm talking about, like, literally, like... Like how you play Grand Theft Auto, you control those So it's characters. another nigga being me right now, like he... Hey, we don't know if it's a nigga or if it's a a, a god or a, 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 some eternal energy or we don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying it's possible. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying right. the possibility. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I just believe, I just believe, uh, after, what is the word? Is Monotheistic? That's it? When you believe in one god? I don't know. I think that's it. Monotheistic. <laughs> All right, so let me ask y'all a different question. If the opportunity came, right, and they said you could freeze yourself, you know, uh, and then come out. Uh, 20 years, like 40 years later? I got high 200 years I don't want to free myself. No, I don't want to play like straight. that. I'm straight. straight. Keep you, me you here. fuck around and get you ready. The time is up and them motherfuckers forget to open your ass up. <laughs> you done died way you before you done closed. 200 years just to fucking suffocate. All right, now what if, what if 205. How much money you got? You considering freezing yourself? No, no, no. I'm just asking you. You see what the new shit gonna be when nah. you can't even be there? No, nah, I just be curious because some people are, some people are, 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 you know, I call it greedy when it comes those kind of shit. I call it kind of like greedy, like you right. should live your life expectancy and then, right. you know, whatever happens after, happens after. But some people are greedy to the point where they want to try, you know, either live forever or right. live uh, into see, the that's, future. See, that's when I feel like that when people be trying to play with. Exactly. Uh, father. So it's like, exactly. you just got to live for whatever, even if you feel like this is a game, you in this game, there's no start over, or you don't know how, what it might happen. So even the expectation, because curiosity can kill the mind. For sure. So if you are being so eager to be curious about something, you'll realize that your subconscious, you're feeding your subconscious, and it's telling you whatever you think is there, is there. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So your, your faith and belief disappear and it only just becomes your idea that you're now trying to formulate into reality. Right. Drive you crazy. Yeah, and you can't let that happen. That's Shit. Really it. That's the part about going crazy, though. It's like, what if the motherfuckers is right? What if they on the other side of the shit that we can't see? Well, you know, the eyes can only see so much. Like, the human eye can only only see so much. Like, it's, like, everything, it's so much shit in the world, like, in our, right now in this room that our eye cannot catch. Like, the eye is not, like, capable of seeing, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, any, like, energy, you can see energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't, but, like, it's there, you know? Yeah. Sound waves and all this like shit. Like, oxygen, you can you exactly. see it, but you can't see it. <clears throat> exactly, right. but it's, but... It could be visible, like say if there was a a different uh, extraterrestrial life I see what you're saying. form. Like who was even the one who told you there's oxygen that we're breathing? Who was capable to say that that's is that? That's how high I am. What? I agree with everything. <laughs> you all, all of that shit is that right. I've been waiting to see where we going. That nigga, that's stupid as fuck. I'm listening, but I can't you say lost. shit because it's all right. I'm clear, like I can't really agree with that. No, I, I agree with everything. I'm like, they are all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm there. It's all of these things at once. See, if you respect everybody's perception and, 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 and you just take heed into where they're coming from, you will understand why they got the perception. They got the perception. We be too busy to be like, see, I don't see how you got that. I, this would be the You feel what I'm saying? We too busy to trying to disagree. Tell me about your nail polish and what made you I, say, fuck I, it, I'm putting my own shit out. Uh, well... Because I don't feel like there's any nail paint, like, specifically for men. 
You know what I'm saying? Or more... Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, and... There's a reason for that. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, the thing is, I feel like people should be able to do whatever they want to do. You know, like if somebody wants to, fuck it, why not? You know what I'm saying? The option. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And I, I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, why not? If I, have to, if I got the power to make my own nail paint, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like... How can I lose? Is that is that just this is that just the only thing that you standing on is just like because fuck it. Just uh, do what you wanna do, be creative. It ain't even about being creative, it's just about doing what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like it's you only have one life, you know what I'm saying, that we know of so far. Right. Why would I confine my life to please others? Right, right. It's crazy, you know, like regardless of someone else's opinion, you know what I'm saying? That, and that's another thing, it's like if we all live one life, why would you spend your life Worrying, opinionating someone else's. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's what this whole show is yeah. about. But uh-huh. people do it to this day, you know. And we, 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 and we, we, we are doing it, in a, and and subconsciously we are doing it because we always, whether it's for hours or for half a second, we see something online. We say something about it, keep scrolling. But it's like it's crazy that we, as people, are like that. You know what I'm saying? Like people think their opinion is valuable. Yeah, you know, that's, and it's that's crazy. That's why I just say, if you don't like it, you don't like it. You keep going. You ain't got to speak on it. You know? I don't even care. I, I, at this point, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Like, people going, because I realize it's free to talk. Yeah. It don't cost. So people going to continue to always do it, regardless. Hey man, do whatever the fuck you feel. Feed the family. Guys. Yeah. Feed the whole family. Always have. Yeah. You know? And I, think, and I think it comes from people like, you know, whatever your upbringing is, wherever you come from, like, a lot of people not use certain shit, and so they, they get very, like, one-track and one-minded about something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, like, when I grew up, my dad was a photographer. He was, he was a real artsy, creative person. He, he had me around a bunch of different crowds of people. Yeah. I went to, then when I went to Inman and Atlanta, it's a real diverse school. You know what I'm saying? smart and diverse. So I was never confined to, like, oh, you know, be this way and... You can't do that because that's gay, or like I never had that mindset. Like I don't even think I knew what gay was until like, like I didn't know like that that was a, like I, I don't know like I was I didn't I didn't grow up like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like anyone out like that, it wasn't. Being but even that. even though like my parents cool. weren't just on me like was, you can't you like don't that, do man. this or don't be this way or don't do that like like I my dad loved Andre 3000. You know what I'm saying? From Outkast and he was. He did whatever he wanted to do. He expressed himself yeah. however. He dressed however. So, but that's I, the shit that make heroes, man. The people who are free to live their life. You look at all the people who, people admiring, like when you know that's gonna be remembered forever in the legends. That's exactly what they do. They push boundaries, man. They don't give a fuck about what you think. Man, they challenge the violence. status quo. Not for sure. Be free spirited. So look, if you if your girl. I just want to know what y'all think about this. If your girl cheated on you with another girl, you tripping? That's not cheating. Yeah, cheating. I, I, I know some niggas like, that She's just waiting to go get a, a coochie lick down. Yeah, I know some niggas that trip that's off that. Eating. She went out to eat. She went I, out for takeout. I feel, like, I, feel, I feel like that's cleaning the cat. So do you feel like she, she needs to I'm tell you? She, she needs to tell you? No. She don't. She ain't got to tell me that. What's she look like? She freaky. The other girl. I don't know. What the fuck is you doing with these fucking wolves, bitch? Get in the car. You out here running around with these dirty tramps? Get in the car. 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 We try to change motherfuckers, man. Like, you can't ignore the red flags. Like, when motherfuckers show up and they are who they are, they gonna be who they be. They gonna be who they be. <laughs> yep, you gotta respect them signs, bro. Yeah, man. Don't overlook them and signs. Then, you know, you gotta really kind of erase that whole mindset out. Like, cheating on me. What fucking game are we playing? Ain't no such thing. <laughs> what, cheating. You, what you cheating, cheating on me about? Cheating? <laughs> cheating on me? What did I win? But check this out. What, you, what game Believe are we it playing? Or not, you get to the point at some part of this game where he don't even give a fuck no more. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. Girl, if, if a motherfucker cheating on you, she get that's her pussy. 
She can do whatever the fuck she want to do. It's exactly. attached to her. That pussy is a, that's an LLC. Your name ain't even on that paperwork. You can't. <laughs> Talk your shit, gang violence! Bruh, you can't the only it. reason you, heard that you should do it. Now look, if she cheating and she fucking off, but uh-huh. she's still giving you the same amount of pussy you been getting. Shut your bitch ass. Shut up. the fuck up. Shut your bitch ass. That ain't, ass. cause that ain't happening. So, that ain't affecting none saying, of your Are you economy. saying it's okay to cheat? I'm no, saying, it's okay to do what the fuck, like no, you say, no. okay to do what the fuck you want to do. You gotta Free take, spirit. You got to take the pussy off the pedestal. Yeah. <laughs> People put the pussy on the pedestal, and the pussy wasn't made to be on the pedestal. The pussy is made to go wherever it needs to go. It's right. got to be free range. You got to look. That's you gotta let it go. You got to keep it in mind, too. Sit it up here That's 5G you network. You want to put it up here. <laughs> 5G network. The pussy got to be free to go wherever it may. Look, Roman pussy <laughs> is the bonus. <laughs> If you think about it, for sure. take pussy out the equation. Mm-hmm. You dealing with the person more than the pussy. Right. Mm-hmm. Now getting the pussy was just a bonus. <laughs> Cause she really ain't even had to give you no pussy. She didn't. It's a gift. Right. That's why it's given. That's it why it's called. It ain't yours. Right. <laughs> when you feel when you feel some type of way when your girl fuck somebody, you have an attachment to that pussy where you that's, like. Well, that's oh, crazy if you're paying all her bills and and, and, and that, take see, care of See, that's called her. obligation. Right. Ain't nobody told you to do all that. You did all that shit because uh-huh. you thought that that was going to give you ownership of that pussy. Because you put it on the pedestal. No. That pussy hey. already had an LLC now. Now, nigga set his own standards. Registered account. The nigga who was fucking before you didn't pay all the bills and he got twice as much pussy oh. as you. A lot. You can't buy pussy because you can't it own it. That's called walking real estate. Uh-huh. <laughs> Talk your shit. She's the sole proprietor. Recession location, proof. location, location. Recession Yo, bro, proof. y'all niggas are crazy. No. Nah. During this pandemic, that pussy got some money. I'm telling you, pussy gonna sell P-P-P-O. when cotton won. Pussy, pussy, pussy long. P P P. That's what we doing now. Out here presenting for some future. There's somebody that want to give all of us some pussy right now. Somebody. That pussy ain't yours. I mean. If you were successful and you didn't never get no pussy, no, no woman wanted to fuck you, she you're not going to feel successful. That pussy ain't yours. He said, what if you paying all her bills? She don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. That's crazy. That pussy ain't yours. You basically ain't bitch for everybody. I'm not calling them bitches because that's going to fuck the pussy ratio up. <laughs> you see what I'm with? I'm with it. Mm-mm. They not for everybody. They for who they want to be for. That shit sound good in a song. Mm-hmm. But when you have to come in real life, so whatever a nigga think he did or got away with, you can fuck a thousand bitches straight and never get caught. She can get that pussy away. She giving it up. Right now. She can fuck somebody in your family. Oh, you cheating on me? Really? She Where you dad it at? Mr. Bob, do your thing. I'm sorry, son. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no feelings behind it. Yeah, bro. That's you why we, when you play these games with these women, just y'all. know she can do some shit back to you that will literally Mr. fucking Tom. kill you. <laughs> That's why it's called a game. Give it up. These women real spiteful with that pussy. Do I got a little split on it? You got the evil side and the good side? Exactly. <laughs> when you go <laughs> fucking with a chick, depending on what terms y'all left on, she gonna fuck somebody that she met in while fucking with you. You at the show right now? Your girl probably fucking somebody right now? The girl you <laughs> used to fuck is fucking with a partner that ain't your partner no more. Mm-hmm. They snuck off and fuck. Sneaking. Exactly. You paying a bill. Sneaking and freaking. You keeping the lights on so she can have a place That's to That's the coldest part of the game, Yachty. You didn't introduce, when a chick fuck with you, you introduce her to the next dick. <laughs> she giving it up, ooh, yeah. <laughs> now you can do with this information what you must do, but just know that the game is cold. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Pussy is the one player. Dick is the second controller. Yeah. Dick is just a volunteer. I'm telling you, pussy gonna win most of the time. <laughs> she giving it up. This said, Dick is just I remember when I was hurt too. Oh, I was hurt. God knew that women was gonna win in this game, so he gave us a dick just so we'll have something to, to play with. She giving it That's up. That's all he gave us. He basically gave us a stick and was like, 
Hit some. Hit some. Stick some. Hit some. Stick some. She giving it up. Bro, I do not know what the fuck is happening right now. I'm letting you know, you 23. I'm 38. I'm 29. You ain't even seen the shit that's coming dealing with pussy, bro. Okay. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter what you don't do. Don't pay all our bills. You can show up and be nine-tenths of the nigga that she want. You know who'll end up getting that pussy? Tom. That, one, that, one. that nigga who doing that one-tenth that you can't do. Tom. Hey, you paying her bills. You done changed this bitch's life. Hey, Tom. And the nigga that she gonna fuck next is just a nigga that listens. That work at Chuckles. He ain't gotta do nothing. <laughs> Cat, that nigga work at Chuckles. That nigga. 23. She met him at the drive-thru. <laughs> so you ain't, you ain't even listened up on no pussy yet. Okay. <laughs> nigga know how to sing too. He like, <laughs> You know how to sing. You work at Chuckles. <laughs> I'm telling you, 23. Giving it up. You can listen up on some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> some nigga doing everything that she won't do, but he don't listen. Yeah. She you know why? Because he too busy doing all that other shit. It was late. It was around two. What's she doing, DC? She giving it up <laughs> to a nigga named Tom. Who get jealous? He can sing. He be like. Ooh. Check this out. You playing So every chick you you deal with moving forward gonna know more about you than you ever know about her. That's crazy. That's facts. That's she know crazy. about your sneaker deal. You hey, like this, man? That was a long time ago. She giving it up. Stay away from them industry chicks. Yeah. They call industry chicks for a reason. Sure. <laughs> That's why we take our time. I can't pay but your bills. You know, they good to inspire your creativity. I'm too rich. Cause you're giving it up <laughs> to a nigga for free. So let me hit for free, not nah, nah, nah. And it's a lot of power in not fucking everything. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. don't fuck everything. Woo! You said something then? Cause then you'll start losing value yourself. Yeah. Oh. That's real. Don't fuck something just cause you can. Cause you've been giving it up. Right. <laughs> you in a position in life where you can fuck where you nigga want to. Nigga, ho, ho, out here. <laughs> Who wanna fuck me? <laughs> you giving what, it up. What were you out here doing? <laughs> giving it up. <laughs> Bitch, like you wanna fuck me. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> What she do? She <laughs> give it up. <laughs> she could believe it herself. Anybody you know fuck this bitch in two years? Don't believe that. And here I come, I'm giving it up. <laughs> Don't believe that. Don't never believe that. <laughs> that's, She's ugly. That's the cap. <laughs> so she was like a virgin all alone again. No, she wasn't. <laughs> she never forgot how to fuck. Don't ever believe that. Ain't no such thing as liberty. If you alive, you're in the game. Everybody in this month, it don't matter what you look like. Right. I'm telling you. I done some some motherfuckers is ugly on the inside. Mm -hmm. I done hit a lot of creatures. <laughs> what you was doing? I was giving it up. <laughs> I was worried more about a body count. I was like, I killed too. I'm ragging it up. <laughs> Nigga like, what number you on? I'm like, he hungry. Bro, you are crazy. I was giving it up. <laughs> I seen a bitch the other day. I was like, ooh, you look familiar. I think we, we can. Okay. Hey, man, beauty is subjective than a motherfucker, though. That's the fact. Because, like, on that shit you was on earlier, though, it's like, Fucked up part is we don't even know what we really look like. Nah, not not well, you talking about like when you become famous? No, I'm talking about if you look in the fucking mirror, you only know what your brains told you you so. saw. Nigga, you don't know how the fuck you look to somebody. Yeah, that's the same time. Yeah. Also, you when, you, when you, you become good. famous, good, you know? when you become famous, you start ugly. You start knowing how people you know how somebody really feel. <laughs> once you once you get to a certain stature in life, because then 
Shit, bitch, could just be fucking with you for something else. You'll never know at that point. Hey, I'm man. not saying it's turn you into a whatever you want to be. That's the game, not, though. Yeah, that's for yourself, but I'm talking about, like, if you're searching for a woman and you really, like, trying to find somebody who down, right. shit, it get hard if you ain't meet them before fame because it's like, how I know you really fuck with me. Because you, gotta, why look you, don't it, give it you gotta look at it from the other side, though. Like what? You can't be paying the bills. You say you... First off, I never said I was paying bills. Oh, I, I thought fine. you said you paid all the bills. I said I was asking if you pay some oh. bills and they did it. I'm stingy, I'm tight, a bitch But see, that's the thing. I you can know the money, difference when somebody man. fucking with you. Man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's some, it's some actors out here, bro. Trying to, trying to get that end goal. Trying to get that baby. That's the end goal for some women. I heard the story where you said your lights off. I heard that. Are you trying to imply on you asking me for money? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, cat, I'm tight. I'm like, oh, if I was broke, what would you do? But see, that's the thing, though. That's not exclusive to being famous, though. Well, the one thing that women crave is security. Now, if you a dope dealer, he got the same problems as a famous nigga. He famous in his hood, so everybody yeah. he come in contact with. Yeah, but that's still fame. I mean, brother, exactly. fame on a worldwide level or a local level, fame is fame. Exactly. I feel but like vibe is everything. Right. Do you care, care though? I don't mind fucking with a bitch. I, I have been done. I give a couple of locker. Do you care that they fucking with you? He gonna fall high. He still gonna fuck with them. Once you're famous. That helps you, bitch. Well, it depends what kind of what kind of relationship you talking about. If it's like you know, some one night <laughs> shit, or you talking about like some long long term shit. Yeah, you wonder about it, but it also puts you in another category too. Like once you start doing more shit, it's gonna put you on with women of the, the same level. You, you know, you know what I'm your saying? trust issue probably fucked up. Cause the more Man. you get more money, you like guys, I guys, can't shit. where's the confidence, bro? Your hoes are your hoes. She is. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, if, you, you, you if, you believe, said, if you believe no, that right. a girl is only no. fucking with you, that's not what I possible, said. I never but, said that. And that's the that's the selfishness that's of the blood. whole situation. She don't have to just be fucking with you. She do everything you need her to do. That's what I'm saying. I don't be tripping. That's why I be like, look, I'm not even putting myself in a world where like you're only fucking with me. Look, look, Bruh. I don't give a fuck. I can see you out. And you can be with somebody, and I ain't finna be one of them niggas on the other side of the life. Not for sure. Not for sure. That's the trick. Hey, you really just go walk past? Like, I'm not one of them niggas. This huh. the trick that I'm we always, we make, we overcomplicate <laughs> this shit. If you want, if you want her to be exclusive, you gotta be exclusive. That's now, it. Now, if you got a, you got a lot more to give up than some, some of these, you know, women that you might want to be in a relationship for. You gonna get married? You right? got a lot more to risk. I don't know, I'm 23. I'm about to say, but you 23. Hey, but if I can tell you right now, in your twenties, because in my last year in the twenties, so please live it for me. Be smart. But go crazy. Have fun. You may like yeah, that. Be on the boat every day. <laughs> even when it ain't on the wall. When it ain't even on the wall, they just paw. You just on that bitch. Be on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Having a like this. This the time when you just yeah. whatever whoever you think you is in your head. That's how you live in the twenties. Yeah, but just know, your keep the money though. Keep the money yeah. coming. Keep it coming. That shit but definitely, expensive. don't never take that shit for granted. Always stay in that in that realm, yeah. you know, right. where you can still see that this shit is. It's a facade. Yeah. You feel me? But Always enjoy it too. Don't let that part fuck up the highs of that shit. Right. Let your highs be as high as they can fucking be. Cause you turn up on these fuck niggas. For real, bro. I feel like you enjoy it though. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you know, like I don't know. I'm just looking. I'm you look like you're enjoying life. Right? It's, it's the shit on your, your head, the beef, ice it, too. The crystal, Sebastian crystal. Oh. Come on, man, but that still ain't, that still ain't nothing. That, come on. You heard the, the nigga get that, Oh, wait, this Sebastian. nigga making black history. <laughs> the nigga got an iced out <laughs> motherfucking hairstyle, man. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I ain't never seen that shit. Come on, shit. Oh, man. What are these young life niggas out here going crazy? Unapologetically, what you call that shit, no niggas? All right, you got to live like that. Whether I was famous, rich, famous, I'm still with a live life. Right. Make the most of it because you only got one. That's it. You got to enjoy it. Right? Well, my boy, you can have multiple lives. <laughs> talk to shit. Don't let these people talk to you like that. I've lived thousands of lives. <laughs> I've been this nigga and that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a nigga. A nigga. The nigga. Uh. <laughs> Here, there, everywhere. <laughs> I was outside when Cash Money Records took over. Uh, I was a New Limit soldier. You were you were a New Limit soldier. <laughs> I was boys in the hood. You know I wore soldier rags. <laughs> <laughs> 
I pimped hoes, <laughs> slammed Cadillac doors. <laughs> I was in the Wu-Tang Clan. <laughs> Done it all. I'm the lost member of the outcast. I'm in the dungeon family. I have signed to rap a lot of records. I know Jay Prince. You know Jay Prince? I, man, you have thousands of That's what I'm saying. Right. It's moments like that, man. For sure. You got to live your life, guys. Yeah. Right? You definitely live your life, yeah. man. You I saw that nigga Rick James. Rick James was the perfect example of what a, what a black man supposed to do with this shit. Mm -hmm. Minus all the shit that he went to jail for. You gotta overlook that part. Right. Okay, so you say look at a nigga who enjoyed that shit. That oh, family, Rick James, yeah. That nigga. No nigga loved that shit like, nigga like party. made that shit look that good. Not for sure. You got so what you got new coming out, man. I know you got some shit in the blender. Uh, some shit. Well I just dropped mixtape. We could go. Mr. Boy Boat. Where you find it? Where you find it? Where you go? Mr. Boy Boat. Yeah, Michigan Boy Boat, uh, my nail paint pin job. I'm what's about the, what's to do the land called? Creek. Yeah, I'm about to do a frozen pizza in all grocery stores near you. Frozen pizza? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Frozen yeah. pizza. Oh, yeah. Hold up, bro. What's the pizza called? Well, we're still trying. That's the last thing working on the name and the logo, but. I can buy some for the hood. Like, nah, for no sure. Issue. We don't want, nah, we can pull it out. Like, pass them things you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm going to invest in the hood. You feel how you keep that shit yeah. flowing in the, in the night. All right, I'm going to pitch you right, right now. You, you hear that shit? call them bitches. You hear that shit? Turn that shit up, bro. You call them bitches little boats. But you make the pizza triangle that way, and it's like a little boat. Yeah. And sell them shits. <laughs> that would be the slogan. I'm going to sell these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I know they gonna go, because I'm gonna sell these. Ooh. Like the sailboat triangle pizza. Oh, sailing. Sailing. Come on, yeah. bro. You got to be fair, yeah. guys. Yeah. See, there you all the white people will be like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> You're going somewhere, little Yachty? Bro, you got to hold on. They won't even call them Yachty. I, I got jet skis. He's like, little Yachty. I need to buy a boat. There you go. Though. You got to buy a boat. A little one. Yeah. You ain't got no boat yet? No, nah, I don't have a boat. I'm with, well, the, the uh, boat show. Let me I buy your boat. Let me, let, me, let me buy your boat. Let me be the, be the man of your boat. You, I you want a broker? Yeah, he want he want to go spend three hundred thousand. I'm, I'm gonna no, go buy. No, that's too big. Whoa, it's too no, big. No, it's too big. That's a lot. Oh, all right. I'm just trying to see no, where your price bro. range is at. Three hundred thousand. <laughs> Nigga, here you going crazy? The way your ears glowing, I don't know what. That's, that's four hundred thousand. I see. I'm like that nigga got four hundred thousand in the ear right now. You know now. the better question would have been. That's the boat. That's the boat. <laughs> How many people have tried to sell you a boat? <laughs> Please. A lot of people try to take me on a boat. You ever been on shrimp and boat? Oh, what? what? Shrimp and boat. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it got a good shrimp on that boat. <laughs> been on a real big boat. <laughs> That's stupid. Yeah, people always trying to take me on boats. No. Uh, you scared of water? I ain't scared. Nah, I, I ain't a fan of it. I ain't scared. Have you of thrown it. a dope ass party on a boat? Nah, I'm not a big fan of it. A boat. No, party. Bro, you got to throw a party. Oh, okay. Ten o'clock. Everybody's yeah, titties just... got to come out. It's on the boat. That's lit. Why would they want to be on a boat no with their titties not out? Titties out. Uh, that's, uh, that's the whole point of having this boat party. That's what I'm talking about, Lowe. Yeah. If Lowe, they want to. My boy Lowe's on that shit, man. No, that's what, it, that's, we yeah. did a special screening process. Mm -hmm. How many ladies would like to be on the boat with their titties out about 10.30 to 12, 1 o'clock? <laughs> We're going out in the water. Ain't nobody going to see your titties but the people who own the boat. And then at 6 o'clock, we'll, we'll pull them downstairs and be like, so how y'all feel about the people on the boat? Right. <laughs> so, uh, 10 o'clock titties is happening. <laughs> OK, OK, come on. Bartender got the shots upstairs. <laughs> Lose what they say, Spirit. fellas. Spirit. We're in business. They're not disappointed in any of us tonight. <laughs> Ten o'clock titties <laughs> happening. I'm not saying it's gonna happen all the time. Hey man, I'm liking this. I'm liking this little. This, this, this yeah, but we gonna, we gonna, we got the we got the white dude. We yeah. paid him for the weekend. Right. He gonna take us kind of over in this little spot where it's kind of just us. Uh, so we gonna no. chill, yeah. smoke some blunts, yeah. talk about aliens and shit. Right. Then about 10 o'clock, we're gonna grab some steaks. Some titties coming out. Smoke some more. Right. Titties is out. Titties out. But titties out. We got a DJ. Right. So it's kind of like a vibe. It's a lady DJ and her titties out. Her titties yeah. is out. You know what I'm 
Ted is this out? <laughs> Bruh, we're not trying to sway you in any direction. <laughs> but if you need us to show you how to do this shit. Then call your boys, man. Come and on, this man. is grown folks Come respecting on, shit. Yeah, yeah, ain't yeah. nobody judging nothing. Mm. It's gonna be a few Come that on. was bought, but natural titties is more than welcome. We want some baby mama titties in there. Yes. 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 They, they still, they hey, still don't let the too. captain say shit. How bounce here, bitch? They got a little bounce too. Sure. They ain't saying what they bounce. You fucking up your vibe trying to, you know what I'm saying? You cut that shit short, man. He don't speak at all. Yeah, hey, right. captain, here, shut the fuck up, man. Yeah, right. When the out, you keep your eye on the goddamn water, man. He just <laughs> okay? Out. You gonna run us into a barge, okay? Right. You don't look. It ain't on the free shit. It's, <laughs> it's intelligent conversations and good five star chef food. He gonna be driving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you drive with your titties in You gave somebody deep occupied. For sure. Yeah. Both yeah. party be lit. We got everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's just some shit you do because you are able to. Right. Yeah, little life. This yeah. nigga in the house right now. Think of how many Wish black gonna men go. gonna live on this earth that ain't gonna get to do that. That ain't gonna have the option to. That be the little shit of them. Get some Hennessy on the west of that fucking Hennessy, bro. It's some, somebody put some in that Hennessy. Remember that Hennessy, dog. Woo! And that, and that, what's the shit in that little small bottle? They come out right here. What the lid? That dung Julio? Man, you, no. you put yeah. some niggas on the boat with some Hennessy. Niggas start asking shit like, hey, you got some breakfast food or nothing? <laughs> 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 on the boat, bitch ass. On the boat. Maybe you got some peanut butter jelly. Shit. <laughs> I see. Niggas ain't feel about the gym. Niggas don't have a chef and they see here cook some bread. <laughs> Nigga ain't got a bunch of shrimp. Come on, man. I ain't never had Hennessy. You never had Hennessy? What'd you drink? I never been drunk. You don't, I don't drink either. You, that, you, what'd you drink? drink? You don't drink nothing? I never been drunk. Don't don't get drunk. Yeah. Nah, man, stay yourself. Yeah. If that ain't your bag, don't get it. Don't start. That ain't, that ain't. Yeah. You don't mm-hmm. force nothing on nobody. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that peer pressure shit. People don't do shit for a reason. Don't start. That's the best way to stay out the fucking way. Right. That's the worst night ever to fuck with somebody that ain't been drunk. I ain't been drinking. Shut and then they drink when they with you. What the fuck made you think <laughs> I was the motherfucker to be responsible for your ass, man? You, you, got, you, got, you got people that still got shit on their bucket list. They be involved in you in this shit. Come on, we'll kick y'all ass. Who will? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, man? Yeah. <laughs> I, only get, I, I get drunk once a year. You get drunk once a year? Yeah. I can't see about you one, You get angry. About once a year. Fuck now, all these white people. Now when I'm Fuck all of them. From the Mississippi Valley to the motherfucking <laughs> Fuck all of you. I'm going to get it all in my car and run you motherfuckers over. And I got a lot of them. <laughs> I got a lot of motherfucking cars. Don't touch me. A motherfucking Carlos Miller, bitch. Man, it ain't even like that. She be, I like it. Like, no, uh, she be moving you way too fast. Too much. Fuck me, white folks. She be blurred. Be like, no crazy, man. What crazy, man? I can't get drunk around white people. You go crazy. Nah, I see that nigga angry at the airport. So we got stuck. Oh, my boy came crazy. He all fault. Trying to blame it on all of us. There ain't nothing for black folks on the plane. I know who it is. Y'all trying to keep it trapped here. Man, them motherfuckers, they stopped the plane and was like, figure it out. I ain't never seen no shit that ghetto in my life. My oh boy went crazy. They stopped the plane. He fuck with white people, but boy, he from Mississippi, so y'all got to understand. That it's a certain, it. when he feel like that racism shit in the, in the building, ooh, shit. That's that crazy. boy turned into a whole nother nigga. Not me. I ain't the one. Let me ask you something, DC. Talk to me. How you deal with, I just want to hear from your perspective, how you deal with people asking for stuff? I be real with them, because they know I'm tight. <laughs> they, I'm, I'm like one of them people where they know, they be like, I'm finna go ask them. Nah. Because <laughs> they already know I'm going to be the nigga that going to tell you for a fact. Like, if you my partner and you know what's up, you know I love you, like, you can call me and I still go chomp it out with you and whatever. And call me for whatever because I know you're, you're a responsible person that you're not blowing the money. You needing the money or you're using it to double up or triple up or do something with. Because I don't have burn money to just free willy nilly. Because I used to be fucked up. Nothing. Zero dollars. Yeah. And I remember I had to find a way. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, all I do is put my niggas in a position where they can handle their business for the rest of their life. Where I'm like, I can show you how to get some money. That's the bad thing. When I was selling dope, I really didn't give a fuck about a nigga fronting me. 
show me how to cook, because I know that was the way of the game. If I want to, I'll buy a three, five and cook it up and make an eight. Hey, hey. What, what? I mean, I'm just teaching the nigga what's happening. So instead of me buying the whole <clears throat> Sam Graham, fuck it. Teach me how to cook. I'm going I'm to I'm 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 stand over the pot and I'm going to show me how to cook. But a nigga wants you to cook for them, make the plate for them. Here you go. Here, sit down, eat, and then not really coming up with another obligation or another circumstance for y'all to double up some money. You just ride in the wave. Yeah. We are grown now. No more friends. We grown. We was going to fade out anyway. Yeah. We either going to turn into business partners or, because I don't need nobody to hang with we just smoke a blunt with. Yeah. All my partners, we handling business. I want to see you. You got kids. So I get motivated when my niggas do shit. So it's like, <clears throat> do something. Because it motivate me. Sure. You feel me? So let's work. You feel me? So it don't matter. We just put niggas in position. But if you if you a real nigga, I, I don't broke bread with my niggas. Yeah. yeah. But don't I'm ever, split up a bag. Don't ever loan a nigga more people, money like, than they've ever asking. had. Yeah. It get to the point. You ever fell out with family over money? Yeah. I ain't no fall out yeah. with family over money. I don't put them in position. Like, I'm real big on shelter. So you got a house. Everything else figure it out. Sometimes it be like, if that's all saying, it costs for me to never have got to fuck with you again in life, fuck then keep it. Like if somebody owe you, and they know you, they owe you, and they trying to determine if you need your money back or not, just, let, the them, crazy shit just let them have that. It's like, so you mean to tell me that you needed me, and I gave you that, and now you trying to play me like that wouldn't that? Okay, well you take that. But just know. And that's it. I yeah, never you fuck with you again in life. I'm not you about to there. argue with you. I'm not about to call you a bunch of times. Just know that whatever we fell out about, <clears throat> not because I did you wrong, right. because you did me wrong. Yeah. But Good riddance, and just know you will need me before I need you again. Rule number one. Don't lend it back if you want it back. Don't no. lend it if you want it back. Exactly. Don't lend it. That's crazy though. Don't like, lend it if you want it back. What about you ain't some, got like, it to say, say that's just like, you somebody like, this your dog, right? You down your last few dollars. Right, right, right. You still split that with them. Right. Just because that's your brother. So right. you should expect them not to give back. You just, that's well, the what word. if that's, what if that's the, the end right of your there. money and you really just split in your last with your no, that's, somebody? That's, that's, when you that's, said that's expect, the when you expect the shit. That's well, what if they tell you they're going to give it back to you? That's how they got it. But that's your last. You got to understand your last. We in a position where we don't look at shit like our last. Because yeah. we hustlers. Yeah. I'm a hustler. If a nigga know me, Le John a hustler at heart. That was, boy, I said you, you. <laughs> Word. You did? Yeah. So it was like, I was one of them niggas that always needed a boost. I remember when I was fucked up, I was just like, if I just get a job to get some money, I'm gonna be straight, because I'm fucked up. I just need a boost. I don't want to do nothing stupid for the boost. So niggas don't understand you doing shit for the boost. So when you get the boost, you got to take off. Mm -hmm. So when I got the boost, I was like, oh shit, and it's discipline. Yeah. Hustling is discipline. Like, you literally got to do that shit repetitive every day. Like, it See, was times where I thing. hated that I sold weed. I was that's like, the man, thing stop about calling hustling, my phone. Though, it's like what, some people got a dope ass hustle, but they caught up in the lifestyle of being a hustler. Like one thing right, about right. hustling, it's not about what you have to do. It's a lot of shit you have to stop doing or you your hustle is pointless. Right, right. Like if you hustling just because you like to be hustling and you ain't stacking no bread to stop from hustling, right. that defeat the purpose. You ain't put nothing up. Right. And you living a lifestyle. You remember when blocks came out? A nigga had them $300, $400 earrings. Yeah. Like, when you see a nigga with some block, that kind of certified, like, oh, shout to get some money, or oh, he keep a yeah. couple hundred dollars in his pocket. I couldn't get, I always wanted blocks. Yeah. So when I started seeing some money, well, I'm capable of keeping three, four hundred dollars in my pocket. I went to go give me some blocks. Yeah. I spent 250 dude, the biggest ever I ever spent on anything, nigga. I was so tight. Nigga know me, LeJun used to wear fake clothes. Yeah. You hear me? Why would you go spend a hundred dollars for Apple One and they sell it for two for a home? Hey, Metropolitan, you tripping. You feel me? But when I broke out of that mindset and started getting some money, I was like, I went and bought the block. I put them in my ear, and I was like, damn. And I'm in the mirror, right? You know, I had to rock both of them. I was like, bro, nigga ain't give me these. I work for them. <laughs> so once I saw how I look when I work for some shit, oh, you couldn't tell me nothing. It was on and Nigga, I was, I was so tunnel of vision on stacking, putting shit up. I only kept ones in my pocket. That's why I still to the day I'm motivated by ones. I hold about three, four hundred dollars worth of ones and like, I'm gonna turn these bitches into hummus. Even though I can, but I wanna turn these. Yeah. These, these ones in my hand. You see what I'm saying? Gotta have a vision. Gotta have a vision. <laughs> if your hustle become your job, you're doing it wrong. 
Say yeah. no sometimes too. It's okay. Yeah. You gonna get old. You 23 right now, so when you get grown and start having responsibilities. I feel old already. I know, but when you like start having kids and shit, it ain't even about you no more. Like I used to know how to stay out of the way and hustle for myself, but now I gotta hustle for me, my mama, my sister, my child, my child, shit, her kids, all them. I gotta make sure we don't never go back to where we came from. Yeah. So it's like the responsibility that I got, I gotta make sure I gotta go get the bag. And people gotta understand, you got a family too. Yeah. yeah. I don't think, you know, people don't think like that sometimes. When you're famous, it, I, it ain't, nah. I mean, like but you, you a black man too. Rule number one in black man financial handbook is I ain't got no goddamn money. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what you signed me with. <laughs> What you thought I had, that's, it, that's the first thing in black man financial literacy. I can have 20 trillion. If a nigga <laughs> asks me, got? I don't have it. How much money you got? I don't have 20 it. 20 trillion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have it. I'm walk, I, I have nothing. <laughs> what? I, have I don't have a buck on me. Yeah, you hit him with the I'm money. Fucked up. And he's like, I have nothing. <laughs> you hit him with the money. What money, baby? What money? I'm broke, baby. You think them white folks finna let a nigga have 20 <laughs> trillion? <laughs> think about it. <laughs> They saying that to divide us. <laughs> Talk your shit. I have nothing. Talk your Bro, shit. I'm gonna be the boss. I have <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Bro, if I had money, I'm begging. I, Bro, let me, can, can, hey, brother. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know I got this candle thing, right? You got this candle thing. Bro, I'm, hey, I'm, not, I'm not giving away nothing. Y'all say no, bro. You'll see. You gotta say no. Huh? Oh. Yeah, man, ain't no goddamn. We have fun, though, brother. Giving away no count. fucking money? Uh uh. We got to understand, too, like. I ain't giving away my money because I life work change. for it. If, even if you were to just give somebody like 50000 you you're gonna change their life. They don't even understand their life has changed. You blow that, man. Let me tell you something. Okay, check this out. I'm really from the screen, bro. You just can't blow that type of money. You crazy. If you give a motherfucker that much money and they ain't never had it, they about to try to buy everything they ever wanted. Oh, no, that's a fact. They, they don't know how they, what to do with Whatever it. Whatever amount die. of money that you get, <laughs> you're going to have to get it again because you're going to run through. They yeah. don't die. That's another thing because <laughs> because as, you know, I don't want to say as black people, but, like, just if you come from, like, a struggle or come from nothing, ain't nobody teaching you what to do with no money because the, the people who grew up around ain't never had uh -huh. no money. You know what I'm saying? So how are they gonna teach us what to do with money if they ain't have no money? Hey, yeah, we this first generation money, man. Exactly. So you know, it might, it might that's the part it. about it. It's protecting. What happened, nigga? Oh, I'm like, the fuck? Light burning. Yeah, I got up again. Well, goddamn, light. let us know. Oh, nigga, oh, like, <laughs> oh, ain't nothing to light burning. Like the nigga. <laughs> it's like six niggas got together who knew what was going on. I'm like, what? <laughs> Man, what the other five didn't want to say shit, you know, can't just like nothing. Is the light supposed to burn? Hey, y'all. What's going on? The building's on fire, but nothing. <laughs> Keep rolling. We liking this shit. Financial literacy. No, let's go, let's go. Let me get through. But you know how that shit is, man. You, whenever you, if you come from the hood or the struggle or, you know, shit. But see, I'm real big on teaching. Oh, yeah. me too. I like 100%. to teach. I like... I'm gonna teach you before I just give it to you. Right. I, yeah. I, let me, I feel like niggas don't understand knowledge. You can take that with you. Mm -hmm. Like it's worth more. It's way worth more. That's just like if a nigga would have taught me how to cook. Me knowing how to cook is a survival tactic that okay, I can always cook up and do. I don't know what I'm about. Okay, why you gotta listen to Jay Z? You feel what I'm saying? Cause he already said it. Give him money to eat. Next week he's broke. <laughs> That's real. But if I teach you, that's just like yeah. I be letting motherfuckers know. Or whatever profession I got going on, I just I just say, look, you gotta always have a job with that. You feel me? You don't tell jokes, so you gotta figure out. But I'm here with you. Now, and guess what I'm doing? I'm investing. Mm -hmm. Put your money in the stock. Amen. Put your shit in the other shit. I'm showing you how to get a bad, how I'm getting a bad while I'm showing you what's really going on, so you can always stay in the loop. You feel me? It ain't never gonna be a nigga that's, you supposed to hang around and get money, and he not putting you up on game on how, what's, what's, how he get some money. Yeah. I'm not saying he's supposed to tell you everything, but he's supposed to let you know what's going on. And that's the blessing, though, man. If a motherfucker turn you on to any money that you ain't had, that's that's your responsibility how long you can stay right there and get it. Call a lot of motherfuckers fuck their own shit up trying to, I don't fuck with that. Like, man, you got a gravy lick, you just too lazy to hustle it. 
or to work it. Because sometimes it ain't a hustle. It's, you can put a motherfucker in a position. Hey, all you got to do is this. That's it. You said this is what you wanted to do. Why? OK. All right, bet. Yeah. So, so not only do you fuck your shit up, now you fuck up the person who turned you on to this credibility. And you know Because you we, are reliable. We got to also learn how to network. The mouth is a, is a reliable source. The, the most powerful man is the person with the most resources. So if you can't make a phone call, you're useless. You feel me? If you can't put a play together, you're useless. I'm not saying you're nothing, but I'm saying, what value do you hold even to your own profession? Because you are a brand for whatever you're doing. And if you can't even make a phone call to expand your brand, you're doing something wrong. That's real. You feel me? That's why if you, if I'm going to a party where you at, not knowing I'm coming, I'm fucking with you, I'm supporting you. There's important people in this motherfucker. Yeah. Why, just like how you said, you went to all them parties, you networked, you navigated, you went where they was popping. You That's went the where what was going on, and yeah. you made yourself useful in saying, what's happening, what's your name, what you got to offer. Mm -hmm. My name's so-and-so, what up? Maybe one day we can network. Yeah. Not knowing no bug and niggas always be trying to, no, nah, because you knew you serious about your business. Right. You got, that's the real humbling part about it. There's a lot of motherfuckers like, they just post up and be like, they don't know who I am. <laughs> I'm important too. You made yourself known. That's one of them, that's one of those things about business that a lot of people ain't never gonna succeed at. Everybody ain't supposed to be in position. Cause you know, that's, that's the one thing, the critical skill is, you know, knowing how to communicate with different walks of people. We comedians. Right. We don't know who's gonna show up to our show. Right. We could walk out there and it'll be sold out. Don't nobody look like you in that though. Right. But see, I'll, but this is the thing I have on that step up where I say, I don't even want to say that everybody ain't supposed to. Everybody has the ability to tap into their leadership quality, if it, what I want to say. Everybody don't have but, it. But, but, but it's on you to find out what you're great at. It's something, I, like, we could be comedians and we can do our thing. But I got a partner that's crazy in the tech world. That's something you blessed at. That's something that I know that, that you hold value with. That how you look at me over here in the, doing the stand up, I look at you in the tech world as this gigantic superstar. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like this is something you great at. And I just like being around motherfuckers that don't mind giving off information because they love it. Because that's how we, we was in the community or anywhere. However we build our promised land, it was our resources that we came together with. That's how the community is built. Oh, yeah, we got doctors. Oh, yeah, we got accountants. Oh, yeah, we got lawyers. Oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, yeah, we got that. How are they, now they looking at it like, how you do that? Man, we got resources, baby. Yeah. Who you talking to? Strength is yeah. in the network. That's real. Like you were talking about the financial literacy, man. What's some what's some of the shit that you done learned already? As far as what? Shit, managing it and keeping it. I mean, you know, you gotta, like you said, you you know, you get somebody fifty thousand gonna go next week. I have to go through that. You know, I came in the game at 18, 17. I came in at 17, got my first million dollar deal at 18, you know what I'm saying? Had never had any money before then. So of course I you know, I done blew some money, you know what I'm saying? You know, but thankfully I caught on quick and I got I got bored with like materialistic things. And I, it helped me like learn to devalue lots of materialistic things. You know, at first I used to value like all oh, 15 chains and watch and you know, I used to have eight cars. <laughs> you know, I used, like I had eight. eight. You know, I had eight cars. You know, like eight Are you cars. selling any? <laughs> <laughs> You know? If you only want one, I get the other seven. <laughs> I was 19, you know, so I was 19 years old. So, you know, uh, it taught me to just devalue everything. I stopped caring about all that shit that at one point in my life I thought I needed to have. I felt like I had to have, you know? And so now, I, and I'm still so young and I still got a long career ahead of myself. I now know how to move. You know, it's not as important to me to go blow six figures on a bracelet. You know, something like that. How much money do you think you blew before you realized that shit? <laughs> Over 
20 M's. Yeah, damn. Before you was like, ha. I didn't need this. Yeah. Like, you was just looking at shit like, I didn't fucking need yeah. this. I no, didn't. Sure. No, no cap. 20 them things. Not for sure. Damn. damn. Bro, you Did you like resales for shit to get You should have came up here earlier, bro. Nah, him. <laughs> you would have came up here earlier. You would have still had nah, 15. Nah, but it ain't, it ain't about, but you know what it is? For me, shit. it's not about, it's it not about, 19. it's not about word of mouth for me. It's literally about uh, uh, going through expect, experiences. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, losing, I done lost millions of dollars worth of jewelry to the point where I'm like, man, I don't care about this no more. You know what I'm saying? Or I just wearing it enough to like, damn, these chains are heavy as fuck. Why do I keep wearing them? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that shit, all on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Shit is uncomfortable. Or kept, kept, <laughs> kept buying cars. Kept buying cars. Damn, this gold is chafing me. Letting my homies <laughs> drive my cars. Why the fuck then, would you do that? Because I just tried to... I, when I got into this life, I wanted all my friends to like experience it with me some kind of way. Yeah, they can not rap with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I had too many. I couldn't drive my cars at once. Really? But then they started wrecking them. So then I'm like, all right, well, yeah, it's just a car. Just wait, like, yeah, I, I, know, I got something to tell you. Wait a minute, what I got something to tell you. Wait, wait. I wrecked the Lambo. No, listen. Nigga. That's a, but I got now, a nigga trying to buy your boat next saying. week. <laughs> that's the shit I was saying. I just negotiated the boat. Everybody <laughs> ain't supposed to be in position. You motherfuckers ain't got <laughs> enough <laughs> driving <laughs> experience <laughs> to be driving no shit that costs. This is a Honda Accord, friend. Right. He got feet. This ain't no Honda. Cool. Oh, his brain ain't never cool. No shit like that before. Yeah. He used to. Right. What they ain't saying nothing wrong with sharing their experiences. Some people just don't be honest. They don't be respecting this yeah. shit. No, that's a fact. Like, I feel like people never uh, respect something that they didn't have to work for. Yep. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He, he in a Lambo and you trying to tell him. He's like, man, I have been in a Lambo yeah. before. Yeah. Just when? like. Yeah, just when? like. My cousin rented one of these. Who? <laughs> You took a picture by that bitch. Yeah, my cousin had and one of these in my hand. Like he already know. He tried to find a kiss He's like, my cousin had one of these in my hand. What did these motherfuckers work? Oh, but which button? What yeah. these bitches? Like, hold up, that ain't supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't know what I did to. <laughs> it's just like when people, hey, bro, when people bro, scam. Bro, how you cut this bitch off? <laughs> it got a peel, air <laughs> button. I think I don't went low. I don't went low again. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to tell that. <laughs> this shit don't work, man. <laughs> Niggas don't say, man, this shit too much. <laughs> Yeah. Too much. I don't need nah, all this shit. No hey man, uh, uh, I'm trying to start that motherfucker back. I had it on. <laughs> Damn, we on E. This is bullshit. Nigga always find out they on E. Man, that's what I be trying to but see, I just made sure that my niggas are out here just getting some money. You feel me? I always didn't preach that. I be like, look, listen, it don't matter what you doing, bro. I don't care. What's you, whatever you think you facing, we grown, yeah. we almost 30. So no, you still dealing with that shit now. 30. <laughs> it's right. You need to just figure that shit out. Right. So what we got to do is go hard every day, learn how to just stack the paper, stay out the way. Even if you're dealing with this shit, go somewhere else, bust a left. Mm -hmm. Don't go right, bust a left. You dig what I'm saying? And just stay consistent every day because at the end of the day, I gotta go tell these jokes. We gotta continue doing this podcast. Yeah. Everything is a continuing process. And if we was to choose to be like, I'm sick of this shit, I'll stop. We stopping the grind. Yeah. Ain't, no, ain't no way you can stop the grind. We done work too hard to build anything from the ground up. And if you really came from the slums, and if you really came from nothing, and then you all automatically know that once you get some shit in motion, once the wheels start going on that motherfucking train. Everybody believed in you. What? Everybody your cousin. Everybody loved you the most. Everybody knew you was going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know it then. <laughs> My sister called me a junkie. When I was photo, she was like, every time I come up here, you just being a junkie. I said, damn. Looking like I ain't got no job. It's crazy. But I said, weed though. I got money in my pocket. No. Yes. Yeah, I don't remember. What the fuck you? That boy I, I, said, I don't know where. I don't know where the fuck it went. That where them damn nail came from. You just like paint these bitches. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> What's wrong with you, our boy? Uh, paint man. these motherfuckers. <laughs> nah. I had a rough. I had, I had a rough ass day. What else can I go through? Paint man, these bitches. <laughs> if I ran through twenty million dollars, I would have some of the coldest stories. Look, it's me and twenty naked bitches on a boat. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Nigga. <laughs> 
I had a motherfucking <laughs> ice sculpture. You feel me? Big ass shit. Underground. Pulled up on the island. Monkeys. Yeah, nigga. Monkeys. <laughs> Parrots and shit. They done cooked the pig underground. <laughs> the banana leaves. Pulled pork straight up out the ground in the banana leaves. <laughs> then the natives pull up. Uh huh. Everybody, they get their feet rubbed with this rock. It's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> then uh -huh. we go on the inside. Uh -huh. They play live music till four o'clock in the morning. Then okay. they start drinking when the sun come up. Sound like you hanging with some crank Man, man. that's the type of shit I'm gonna <laughs> Give me your feet. I got a rock. Let me rub it. I would have so many night. stories. Give me your feet. This so it's up. me, Britney Spears, and Scotty Pippen. Give me both of your feet. Give me both of your feet. It's good luck. So I'm in my Ferrari 719. Only four of those are made. Me, Bill Gates. What's that white girl from the uh, Spice Girls? Uh, hmm. Ginger. Her husband. Yeah. We the only three guys. <laughs> so the soccer player. What? So no, it's me. Me. <laughs> uh, Enzo Ferrari's grandson. Oh. Uh, damn. The white dude from The Hangover. Okay. Which and one? Cheech. Cheech. Snoop pull up. Cheech and Ocho. Which one? It's Willie Nelson's birthday. Man. <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with Britney Spears. Was Jackie Chan Jr. there? Jackie Chan was there. Oh uh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Oh my God, I know what you're talking so about. So all now. the ladies from The View are fucked up. Oh. <laughs> They've been day drinking since you 2 o'clock. Sloppy. Yeah. But she... Yeah. I really don't know. I don't know where it went. So I had this crib next door to Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Limo drop. Limo drop. <laughs> it's me, Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, it was the limo drop. <laughs> We all outside. <laughs> right. Talking over the fence to each other. <laughs> that is hilarious, what? man. That's funny. Man, you supposed to remember some supposed to remember some of that shit. I don't remember what, no, I, not like I don't remember. It's just You don't know what the shit I is. I won't vote against 20 minutes. I got every, 18, I just 19. don't know how I just I just know for a fact I spent over 20 minutes. But That's, I don't know. You I mean, like I said, I had a lot of shit though. Wait a minute. I this is the only podcast that. that you can come on that nigga gonna celebrate that shit next. Right. A nigga supposed to spend 20. Don't feel bad you about spend, this you shit. Spend, you spent 20 and you still up. Uh, ooh. No, I, I, oh. done, I, done, I done made. Yeah. I done made. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done don't made. Tell nah, you don't tell nobody what you made. Nah, I'm not yeah. going to say that. Good enough. But I'm, I'm saying, nah, nah I'm, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I made a good. I made, I made. I'm doing well, even right now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So. I'm, I'm like, I don't look at it as a bad thing. Nigga, you got diamonds on your braids. Yeah. Come on. Well, I, I'm okay. enjoying life, man. You only got one of them. 20 million and 18, me? Who? I wouldn't did no comedy. You just inspired me, too. Go crazy. Guess what? I'm getting earrings on. What? I'm gonna have diamonds. Titties on them bitches. Ooh. <laughs> I seen them today in the jewelry store. You better get them for a nigga catch. Stop playing with I'm me, telling bro. Two, two titties. It's right gonna here. be two titties, but I'm one. They gonna drip. We'll have a second titty. Titty two ears. What? <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna titty wear them bitches <laughs> like like <laughs> Titty two ears. Titty two ears. Oh, you ain't never got your ear pierced, huh? Yeah. I, come on. You high? I don't. I ain't never seen you with no earring. Okay. I just didn't oh, wear them. Oh, old I just didn't wear them today. You don't be with that shit. Yeah, I have some nice things oh, myself. Ain't nobody poking <laughs> no hole in my ear, I tell you. I that. too have <laughs> fucked you up a nice mean, sum of money, money. y'all did. <laughs> but it's all accounted for. It's all accounted for. <laughs> and it's definitely <laughs> not $20 million. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I stopped while I was down. <laughs> I had fucked up plenty of change. $68 at a time. <laughs> I remember every dollar I <laughs> Those are the ones I never forget. <laughs> How about one at a time? Oh, hundreds. <laughs> Thousands even. Never. Never millions. <laughs> never. I'd rather stick my yeah. dick in a whiskey bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I'm happy because I grow. I grow out of all that shit. Like I don't care about none of that shit. Now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Stay down, oh, but niggas, niggas want to see you up forever. Nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep the blessing going. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah. God every day, man. Oh, every single about, day. Man, you're about to get twenty hit. million back off nail polish, nigga. Everybody got fingers. Yeah. 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 We going crazy. Everybody don't have fingers. 
So, so you telling me, nigga, with the nub? The only hey, good stop, thing about stop, this stop. is they won't be able to write a comment about what I just hey, said. Stop, stop. <laughs> hey, but they might try to press charges. You're like crazy, bro. Give me some, hey, give me a fist. Hey, hey, if they get upset, don't point the finger at me. <laughs> Bro, y'all niggas crazy. Y'all is stupid, bro. They gonna have somebody type, put they, it's getting out of hand. Hey, man. <laughs> they should let it go, because it's really pointless. <laughs> hey, Kylo, you the one. <laughs> you the one, man. That was funny. Oh! <laughs> Give me a hand. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. I got to hand it to him. Y'all niggas funny as hell. Oh. <laughs> that was a good clap back. Y'all funny as hell. <laughs> that was a good clap back. Oh, shit. Y'all niggas are crazy. That nigga is crazy, bro. Stop it, man. That's they gonna be very shit. upset. <sighs> I love palm trees. I'm trying to put some in my backyard. Ooh, y'all missed it. When you should do it. Me. You gonna put them in? Yeah, you can just put them. Yeah, I'm trying to get some in my backyard. They got them in Palm tree lit. Did you buy any animals? No, I had two dogs. What kind of dogs did you get? I had a uh, uh, a, a English bulldog and a um, chow chow. Mm. A chow chow? Yeah, a chow? I, I ain't seen mm. no chow in a long when time. I first, when I first met uh, NBA Youngboy, he had a white baby tiger. A white that baby tiger? Crazy. crazy. That's Tony Montana right there. A, a white tiger. That shit like $100,000 for a baby and he, tiger. And that shit gonna get big, and you can't keep it. He brought that shit in the studio, and I didn't know what Like, you pay $100,000 for a pit, and you can't keep it. Yeah, it's crazy. No. Yeah. I'm about to get a, a finger monkey. I'm trying to get a, a what? monkey, too. A finger monkey. You gonna let me know all the fuck niggas oh, around. Oh, a what? Finger monkey. I'm just trying to That's finger You don't fuck with that nigga, do you? <laughs> yeah, do it. Go in his pocket. A finger monkey. That's what they, OK. That's all right. That's all right. But the finger monkey, it's lit, homie. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Hand ain't scared. That's right on you. Like, come on. Huh? I'm just trying to finger a monkey. Stop. Oh, yeah, OK. I got you. I... That's kind of crazy. Well, tell you. But... I think you missed it. But yeah. I called it. I called it. Y'all ain't catch the palm trees, though. Look at yeah, that. I ain't caught shit y'all oh. doing on night. Ooh. Right. Oh, it went on everybody. Oh, yeah, you were there. You I was like, there. palm trees. Nobody said nothing. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Are we not playing anymore? Oh, I thought wow. you were really talking about outdoor landscape. No, nigga, palm like, trees, nigga. Palm we were talking about hands. I was like, palm trees. I was like, I'm about to smash palm trees. <laughs> no. <laughs> they said nothing. <laughs> I fainted. <laughs> Get him out of here. He's I, failed us. <laughs> I fainted on the inside. <laughs> Man. That nigga stupid, bro. <laughs> The joke did not land. Y'all think it's crazy, man. But yeah, it's stupid, bro. But yeah, man, we appreciate you for coming fuck with us, man. Uh oh. The oh, nigga had a question. Ain't nobody said nothing about this. It's got his feet. Like, how did you got when you change it? Like when you change the red. Uh, oh, I, back black. Yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't die. Actually, what happened was. So when I was dying, my hair red. Uh, I was never home, so I couldn't properly treat and take care of my hair. So the bleach, like, just destroyed my hair till it was so thin. And eventually, one day I got a braid and it all fell out. You know what I'm saying? So then I had to have add-on hair, like weave, and my hair red hair while my braids grow out so I could still have my look. You know what I'm saying? So then what happened was I grew my hair out. Um, and by the time I t took the hair out, it was just black. I never died, it just actually all fell out at a point in time. Like, when we were shooting the movie, right. that wasn't my real hair. That you was, was it? Nah, nah, hell nah. The, the, the braids and shit? Yeah, that was all, uh, because my hair had fell out. Yeah. Well, whoever did your shit, but they good. Now, this is my hair. I know, but I'm saying whoever did it then, yeah. they good. Cause yeah. my sister, she need a little... Yeah. <laughs> Who did? The <laughs> yachty weed. Yeah. You need to get that yachty weed. Yeah. Are you gonna come out with some weed? Oh, no. He about to get it's a over. check. It's over. No, it was cool, though. I mean, I like it. I feel like it's a, a, a next chapter in my life when I uh, change my oh. hair color. Because a lot of people always treat me like a child. And I, I, didn't, I didn't like that. I hate that because, like, I can do the same thing you do, probably right. better. You know what I'm saying? But right. since I'm young and I have red hair, people just always treat me like some kid. I ain't no kid. Ain't nothing wrong with that, because I'm finna yeah. give me some weed. I'm finna sell me some weed. Yeah. Female get they had to eat every two weeks. Go on, get that brother. What's it gonna call? Huh? Fuck you, weave. Fuck <laughs> you, weave. There you go. That, that can't sell too good. Put that fuck you, weave in your head. Fuck you, weave. Yeah, like.
You yeah, don't think it'll do? It right. If you spell it right and you say it, make they it They ain't gonna know it me. Make it sound like a Japanese name. They ain't fuck gonna know it me. Fuck you, weave. Fuck you, weave, or some <laughs> shit. Make it sound funny. We gonna fuck you? <laughs> no, because just think. <laughs> When somebody asks a chick, is that your real hat? Oh, yeah, this is mine. This is called Fuck You Weed. Mm hmm. They gonna whatever, though. Say you know, that might have went they over your head. Say Fuck you. You get Weave. it? Went over your Whatever. Ooh. Welcome back to the 85 South that Show. Boy, yeah. We have out. made it to the college algebra level uh -huh. of the jokes at this point. <laughs> Look, boy, that's stupid. You been in here holding it down like an anchor. You did. Right, cool. Ooh. There we go. One more. We appreciate you pulling up on us. You did. One more. Come on, man. I appreciate y'all for having me. Appreciate one you for stopping one through more. and oh, linking man, up. Oh, man, you know you ain't got to sell off. <laughs> That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. No, we just chilling, bro. We appreciate oh, you coming man. through. Here, That's man. our love. It Every let time. me know that you still the real nigga that I thought you was. That right. Even while you out here fucking up $20 million. $20 million. Yeah. Who you think you steal you a real nigga to pull yeah. up at the trap house? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. For sure. A hundred. Anytime. How it is, man. And we wish you much success on everything you got Thank coming you. up. Thank and you. And keep man. applying the same pressure that you've been applying to. Definitely. That's what it is. And what advice do you give people about, you know, when they come up to you saying, hey, man, I, got, I do music too, man. What kind of advice would you give me? Man, it's so hard because I feel like everybody's different, you know, and everyone's story is different. But the most organic thing to tell somebody who's trying to make it in music is just be yourself, you know, and think outside the box. Everybody who's trying to do music is trying, like, want the same thing as you. So you gotta figure out what makes you different. You know, like I was talking to a girl last night, and I'm not gonna story off, not last night, but a few nights ago. And yeah, I asked fix that her, shit, cause your new chick, what, uh-huh, when, who is it? <laughs> 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 no, 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 this was like a few weeks ago. But I was like, I was like, Don't uh, put a date on it, just say it. Was like, like, oh, <laughs> this ain't a long time ago. Long time ago, everything's a long time ago. Nah, this one time. It was in my I'm, past. I'm good, I can say, I'm good, man. I'm I'm single man, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I asked her like, you know, what makes you different than the next female? What she say? She couldn't really tell me. But she knew she was Bro, she 23. No, not she even that. No, nah, she was like, she's way older than me. I'm just young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I say that, say just, like, set, make yourself noticeable. Like, what, stand out. And I ain't saying do no clout shit, like right. go punch somebody in the face on camera or some right. weird shit, but, like, make yourself memorable. You know? Because at the end of the day, when I die, I want to leave a mark on earth. Right. Legendary. Yeah. You did that. You're doing it. Yeah. I think I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> <laughs> that boy that was crazy. Well, <clears throat> there you have it, folks. Is that good shit? My name was and still is Carlos Miller. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know who this is? Yeah, you yeah. yeah. The next time you see this nigga, he's gonna be a fucking billionaire. Yes, sir. Because all the people who have active fingers, they about to start buying this nail polish. <laughs> I'm telling you. That shit is vegan and cruelty-free. Oh, I, I shit. Don't, stop, I don't do that. Don't start just throwing shit out there. I don't know if they do that. I don't know. And it's made no specifically for black people fingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They white on black skin. It look better. Oh, that's, that's the white people calling. Chicken is done. Oh my God, we can't. That's the white people like, all right, God damn it, that's enough. We heard what you guys. Are you doing? We're watching you through your cameras. <laughs> no, oh, man. Don't. You know, they yeah. see what you hitting them with. Man, one thing about me, man, you always know, man. Hey, when my eyes open up, I'm on Ultimate Hustler. You know me, more TV shows, more comedy shows, you did. Yeah. Clayton, you know what it is, man. Hey man, Clayton English. All the English majors, everybody the fuck with me, you know what the fuck it is. Yeah. It's that time. Goddamn, fuck with me, you gonna see me on some shit I can't talk about with my beard coming back from the shit. I'm gonna have to cut it off again. Oh. Let's go. Yeah.
You call him a fan the English major? Yeah, that's the English major. That's a hell of a name for a state. I try to give me a little fan club. That's five. The English major. Yeah, you got you got to just give them a name and they fuck with. I don't know. I had some bullshit. What you was called? It was like the fuck you means. The fuck you means. Oh my fuck you means! You already know. I know what the fuck you mean. You should have called him. It is him. high. It is high. Called him the main fuck you. Mean. Should have called him the fuck you meaners. Fuck you mean. Fuck you meaners. That shit sound racist. He don't let no white people in this group. I don't like that. The fuck you meaners. The fuck you meaners. <laughs> That's too close to the fuck you niggas. Uh uh. I gotta ch I gotta find the name. I'm part of the fuck you meaners. There you go. The state. The stable is stabilized. You know what I'm saying? You put some legs on it. It's the foundation. What you call your people? I don't call them. Yes, you can call you them. You call them. Call them and they will come. <laughs> call them. They take a little bit more than that to me. I think this. I know who your call people is. All you got to do is put Ooh. the call out. The gurus. Sound like a bunch of dudes. <laughs> hey, they got hey, the gurus. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we supposed to have this meeting room. Hey, call the guru. Call up. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Where are them titties at? <laughs> there aren't any. All the gurus. Hey, <laughs> You think we can make some breakfast? Oh, man. <laughs> Get me off this boat. <laughs> Those didn't show up. <laughs> then the people with no fingers gonna show up. Look <laughs> pointless now. <laughs> we so disappointed. <laughs> they disappointed. I got one for you. I got one for you. This is gonna hit home because you one of them niggas. All right, OK. My areolas. There you go. My areolas. Now that's just for the light. Yep, there you go. Screw this on the light. That's lady. what I should call them, the areolas. Put a little, put a little Spanish tang on that little, little Hispanic tang on them. The areolas. The areolas. <laughs> My areolas. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Mm. My areolas. You been, you been in your bag, elbow deep. Listen, man. Salvador yeah. Domingo approves. <laughs> hey, man. El Salvador. <laughs> This has been, the, this has been the longest <laughs> outro ever. Yeah. Technically, 85 South Show. Yeah, yeah. Love you Let's get it. I got a long drive home. We all do. Is it still raining? Ain't nobody close. Oh, no, ain't nobody close. Ain't that good? You have to move. You have to move. Ain't that sweet? Far enough to know if somebody following you. No. Hell no. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, hey, Yachty, say cheese. Down. My bad. Man, buy me some more dog corn for that bullshit. Sure. Dope. Man, what? All right, dog's going, yeah, it's still going. What? You got some, balls in there, no, you should because on this weekend, uh -huh. um, Elon Musk is hosting Saturday Night Live. Yeah, and he he's, he's, supposed to, he's supposed to say something about it. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. It's all your fault, Ted. You weren't supposed to do that. No, but I, I want some candy. I got candy or something. Back. See what I want? I can't find it. So yeah, but you should have left me. Like, like when you first got in. I got in like January, but I fought him an egg or two in like. Maybe like three weeks. Yeah, what time is it? I ain't, I ain't snap on like I yeah, did. Yeah, I do want like 12, maybe. It probably made like six over there. Yeah. So it got my six. I just got the six. Oh. I still get my 12, baby. Yeah. So what I did was I just cashed out on the price. I ain't cash out on my. Like, you, you wouldn't even let me drive your Ferrari. Shit